We all know that the bicycle is the most efficient means of transportation there is. And yet still, for the average commuter, riding for miles on a bike and showing up to work sweaty is not too appealing a thought. However, Brian Howell and his associates at Electro Ride might just have a solution for that. Hello, Brian. Oh, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So here we are. This is where it all happens, huh? Yep. So oh, this is yeah, a standard a bike. This is a basic yeah. conversion right here. There's three parts, basic parts to an electric bike conversion. So you basically figure out which kind of bike you want. In this case, you want a nice classic red one. Um, and then you figure out what kit you want to put on there. And the throttle is here and the controller here. In this, this case, we picked a really nice hub. Um, the hub is here and that makes up the whole kit. And then of course the battery, which is a sacred part of the electric bike. And that's what this I'm thing is. I'm thinking this is it. Yeah, and there's lots of variations of batteries. This one could last 2,000 charge cycles, believe it or not, outlast the bike. What is the difference between lithium and lead? Let's just talk about that and the value of those. So lithium batteries are a perfect application for bikes. The, the idea is you want to have as much capacity and the lightweight of battery mm -hmm. as possible, especially for bikes. Lead acid is four times as heavy for the same amount of capacity. So when you pedal this, are you charging it? Yeah, pedaling does not charge the battery, but that is okay. Because whatever pedaling you do is energy the battery doesn't have to put into you. So you can pedal, or you can do the motor if you don't, if you don't want to pedal at all, or you do both. And the more, the, if you do both, you go faster. Some of the bikes go up to 35, even 40. So 40? Like, yeah. I like it.